Today I'm making hot chocolate. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by making the whipped topping and I'm using heavy whipping cream, sugar, and vanilla. And just follow the instructions on the carton of your heavy whipping cream. And just put that in the refrigerator to stay cold while you're making the hot chocolate. I'm starting by adding all of the ingredients to a pot, but I'm not turning the heat on until the milk is added and everything is mixed well. In no particular order, I'm adding in four tablespoons of sugar, that's granulated sugar, and between one half and one teaspoon of instant coffee. Don't worry, you won't taste the coffee. It does enhance the flavor. One eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and again, you won't taste it, but it also enhances the flavor of the hot chocolate. Add one pinch of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of cocoa. After you get all of that mixed in well, then you can turn your heat on to medium low. Don't let this boil. But after the mixture becomes hot, you can go ahead and add in the chocolate pieces. Stir well until the chocolate is all melted and well incorporated. And then you're done. You can have this as it is, or you can top this with whipped topping, uh, homemade or store-bought, and then sprinkle that maybe with some cinnamon or even chocolate shavings. Okay, now this is done and it's very, very hot. So I'm going to carefully ladle this into a large mug. I like to stir my whipped cream in so that I can drink it. And I'm using this adorable, edible peppermint spoon. How cute is that? And there we have it, hot chocolate my way. Enjoy, stay warm. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.